Hey guys, today we are going to talk about very salty opponents. I'm sure we've all experienced someone like this at our FNM or at a pre-release. So when an opponent loses and they get upset, sometimes they say stuff that they that comes off as aggressive, such as go kill yourself. So context, I have known said person for two years and he has a reputation of being a salty when he loses. But ever since he top forward a GP, I think he has been an insufferable opponent. Each time I get masked with him, I get a sense of dread because I know he will say nasty things to me if I win. He actually used to apologize after his bouts of anger, making it okay, but he stopped apologizing after his huge accomplishment. Also, he has never signed a mad slip. Anyways, yesterday he came in pretty tipsy. Unfortunately, there's a bar next door with a side door leading to the local game store, to the bar, and acts like he's my best bud until I win the match. I am 100% polite during the mats. I always shake my opponent's hand if offered, and I always sign the slip if I lose. So he does go on to talk to a judge, and the judge, like most judges, does nothing. See some bad activity, does nothing. So this type of character exists in every single FNM I've ever been to. And this is the type of character who throws a deck at you, who cheats, who... Uh, it, it's, you know who I'm talking about because it's almost impossible for you to play at Magic without having, that, having met someone like this. And when they do very well at a tournament, then they go out and brag and brag and brag because they associate uh, their worth their self-worth and their self-esteem with Magic the Gathering. Now, that's not necessarily something bad. Uh, Magic can definitely help uh, some help you, and it has helped me, you know, encourage me to be more social, be more active when I was younger. But today, when a adult bases his um, entire life on finishing in the top four of GP, and then acts and behaves this way, it is absolutely unacceptable. Now, if it's so unacceptable, we all can agree that this is not behavior we want in our community. Why is it so rampant? And I have a, I have a hypothesis of why this is the case. So when someone is angry at their own life, maybe personal life, maybe work life, and they don't have anywhere to vent because if they vented in their work life, they would be fired. If they vented in their personal life, maybe their personal life is, um, they have some issues with it. But magic gives them a, it gives them a, a venue to act and misbehave as they naturally would have and there's very little consequences. The judge cannot do anything. Like I've said many times, it is, quote, a volunteer position with, quote, actually very little power. The store owner is not going to turn down a paying customer because it's hard enough to break even already. And, you know, new players be damned because this is what you eventually will get yourself into. It's not... So when I read an article about women and magic, they make it seem like this only affects women in magic. No, this affects everyone in magic. This is poor behavior I see at every pre-release, as well as cheating, of course. And poor behavior I see at every FNM. Like I've never gone to a place where you know someone loses and they are happy that you know some people are nice um, and some people are not nice and. All it takes is one not, not nice person to burn down the village. I remember um, Weds, uh, Weds from the Mana Source mentioning that uh, HQ Jeremy was burning down the village. And 
it's the same with YouTube. It's the same with any small niche community. It all it takes is one person and with a fire and then everything is set on fire. I've always really enjoyed the concept that everyone can go to a magic store and you, if you travel a lot, you can go to a different magic store every month or every week and just enjoy a game of magic and enjoy a hobby that uh, you can sit down anywhere and just bring your deck and you can play it. I think that's pretty unique for a game. I can't really think of any other games where that would happen. Now, one thing that this let's on is yeah that's a great positive but the great negative is do you really know the person who's sitting across the table from you are they a sexual predator maybe are they a criminal are they a felon are they going to throw their deck at you if you win are they going to be upset at you are they going to complain are they going to whine um, are they going to stalk you so I read somewhere, and I'm not going to mention her name, but I she is a subscriber of this channel, and she would play Magic, and then she pretty much had like stalkers. I don't know how accurate it is, but on Instagram, so Instagram Magic the Gathering, we had one of my employees make some Magic the Gathering photos, uh, pictures, and she took one of herself, which I always tell them it's not advisable because, you know, creepy right and then we get this guy from and i have screenshots of it and it's almost unbelievable the level of harassment that goes on in this community and i don't think it's a men versus women issue i think it's more of a there are certain people who just you know use magic to release stress in their personal and work life that they otherwise could not release. And sometimes that involves throwing a deck at you or sometimes that involves threatening to kill you. So they say, try talking to the judge again. You might not want it, but the guy needs banning from the store if he keeps acting this way. Comments like that during anything higher than FNM would earn you a DQ and probably even further punishment like a DCI ban. The fact that it's just an FNM where nothing is on the line makes his attitude even more inexcusable than it already is, and the judge should know that and do something about it. As far as I know, behavior like this is ground for disqualification no matter what the rules enforcement level is. If judges at the store shouldn't, don't take it seriously, they shouldn't be judging. True, you can definitely be DQ'd from FNM from, for assault or harassment. So here we have a situation where people actually are being physically threatened and um, assaulted. And the judge sits back and says, nah, we're good. Those Pepe memes though, those Pepe memes. So there's a lot of things that I would work on changing in our community. Uh, the Pepe memes would probably be on my list, but not like in the top 200. Um, here is something where I think it, everyone can agree it is, everyone can agree that this is very aggressive behavior. Uh, you don't need a judge to tell, you know, someone that this is not correct. And the store owner should ban him because he's going to lose revenue. Maybe he doesn't understand this, but if he has this toxic person, you will eventually lose and this is what uh, my local game store did, DNA Comics. There was this, remember like I was telling about this toxic person who would come and draft and he was just so bad all the time. Uh, well, eventually the, you know, the 120 people coming in pre-release became 80, the 80 became 60, and then 60 became 20, and then 20 became six, that they couldn't even have their event, and now it's zero. Uh, it stems from one individual. He has since, uh, I believe, moved on to a different store, which name I'm not going to mention. But um, I don't see that store growing as well. So even from a strictly financial desire to make money, I think the store owners should ban people like this because they really don't have a place in magic. Uh, I feel, it's not that I feel, it's so obvious, right? If someone's threatening someone else to go kill themselves, like, is this 
in what type of community would that be like acceptable? So why should it be acceptable in our community? And why are not the judges trained? I mean, this is a very dangerous situation for the judge, the unpaid volunteer who's not liable, who's liable for their own actions. So, I mean, he talked to the judge and he just smiled and said, good job, like it was a good thing to be proud of. We all get frustrated from time to time, but I am not okay with people telling me to kill myself, which he should not. And this is one of those rhetorical questions where like you, uh, you on Reddit, you ask a question and you already know the answer and you just want people to pair it back the answer to you. But nonetheless, it is a good discussion point because it is something that I have dealt with and it's something that you guys deal with all the time is what to do with that really toxic player. And this is a philosophy I live by and you might not agree with it. And a lot of people on my LinkedIn don't agree with this philosophy as they've told me. So I believe when someone's a bully, so I was bullied in middle school and high school by a guy. He was on the basketball team and he recently approached me to help. I guess I'm assuming he gave me his phone number for me to call him to help him, I guess, get a job. And I said no, because in my opinion, people who act and behave this way, they can't change. They can't change. People don't change unless there is a drastic life-changing event. Which, But on to day to day, this guy's still going to be angry. He's still going to tell people to kill themselves. I mean, it's still pretty bad. Anyway, bye guys.